Choose the future. Choose Play Engineering Systems. Uh, hello to everyone. This is a huge day for Play Engineering Systems. During this week, Play Engineering Systems is presented in a World Championship in Ice Hockey for juniors under 18. And uh, today I have a privilege to talk with uh, Richard, who is the chairman of the company. And for this reason, i like to ask you, Richard, can you tell a little bit more about uh, Play Engineering Systems and uh, specific solution, cutting edge solution, Play Analytics? Yes, for sure, Andre. Yesterday was a nice day with a couple of games, so starting Germany, Denmark, Norway, Kazakhstan, Slovenia and Latvia. So let's load the latest Slovenia Latvia team. So yeah, it was really interesting and dynamic game. Let's load it from the archive. I love this goal. That was on the first period. Richard, let me interrupt you. Uh, how many cameras are in the arena? So there are four cameras uh, installed above the field. One, two, three, four match together on real time. And so they provide that both uh, that top view angle and additionally, of course, they track the players and the puck on real time without any physical devices added to the player. It uh, seems uh, impossible uh, without any added tag. Uh, what kind of technologies are used? Of course, uh, it can be the coach with this like coach tablet PC, connect with the big screen, explain to the players what's, what's happened during uh, just the latest period, or the broadcasters uh, during commenting of the games, or any other third parties, even like betting companies. Choose the future. Choose Play Engineering Systems. Uh, Richard, now you are presenting certain moments during the game. And uh, you use technologies which are produced by Play Engineering Systems. What kind of technology is it? For example, we can use the we can use the telestrator instead of traditional uh, blackboard to analyze any moment of the game in depth. And so there was a, this uh, pass of number 20 to number 25, just two and a half minutes before the end of first period. That results with a nice shot and a goal. It is like a toy. Like a toy, but so very valuable for the coaches as you have this more strategic view. And uh, not only for the coaches, I believe for the commentators, like commenting the games like we, we do at the moment. And so, and we jump to any moment and so it results with the goal. Yeah, it is really perfect. It's a unique, unique view. Yeah, I never saw it before. And I would like to remind you uh, that uh, just optical tracking, no any added device, no tags. This is, a, as I say, a coach tablet PC view. And the two teams uh, played yesterday, uh, Team Latvia and Slovenia. Like a coach, I can choose, uh, like a coach, may I choose my team and uh, my opponent team, or I have a data just from the one team? How it is? So we, of course, have uh, data from the both teams, both for the each separate player or for the whole team, like now for the player 15 for any moment of the game or for the whole team Slovenia for that exact moment of the game. So 8.37 on the first period. And as we can see the whole game, the team Slovenia was played more in defense zone. So they were pressured very hard by team Latvia. So you can see also during the second period they are deeply into the defense zone not working so much in the uh, offense. Okay, and the same we can see on the heat map of uh, Latvian team where they played against Slovenia and we can see that they were deeply into Slovenian uh, defense zone and it looks like, uh, according to the passes, it looks like they played like... Uh, in advantage? In advantages and Slovenia and under the penalties, but uh, actually there were only two penalties of Slovenian team, 
and but uh, we s we can see that it was uh, during the war period it was enormous pressure from the Latvian team. The question is why the only the first period Latvian team results with the go scored goals and during the second period even with more higher pressure it was not resulting with the goal. Let's leave this question to the coach. Yeah. <laughs> We can collect just the data and we can present it. And of course, we need coach who can uh, tell more uh, why is that, uh, that uh, such a result. Exactly. Richard, uh, as I understand, this is a team view. What team did during the game? Yeah. Is it possible to get the data just about uh, one single player? For instance, who scores the goal? Of course. So let's take a switch to the moment heat map and let's select the exact player of Team Latvia. So, it was assisted by number nine, who is forward. Let's jump to the, to the first period. Yes, you can see that he played on this side, mostly. Number nine tried to get that goal. He is a forward, and then he gave the pass to the number 12. And for defense player, number 12 defense player that was the really nice uh, goal he got and uh, from the pass uh, got from number nine and uh, so this is how it looks oh it was a really a very quick move uh, with your fingers uh, and the system presented uh, everything uh, is it possible to look uh, uh, into this moment but from a video perspective from cameras uh, from this video footage of course I'm already preparing. So, the first goal I just showed on the heat map. Here it is. So, number nine is trying to get and then gave the pass to number 12 and they got the goal. Okay, this was the one angle. And of course, we can take a look from the other angle as well. So here's the goal. Perfect, perfect. Nice goal, nice shot. Uh, and I think this is a very good benefit. I hope that coaches like this angle. And uh, today I'd like to finish our short conversation. And uh, next time I'm expecting to invite expert coach who can analyze more deeply from this coaching point of view, not from technology's point of view. Thank you, Richard, for your time. Thank you very much. Choose Plagineering Systems. Plagineering.com